Happy New Year, Swaz Nation! As a special treat, we invited the cast and crew of Among Us the Movie to celebrate the one-year anniversary with us. Get ready, because there's plenty of behind-the-scenes secrets among them. Ah, uh, ah, uh, see what I did there? You see what I- okay, you know what, let's just bring up the title card. When I first came up with the idea for Among Us the movie, I had to stop and ask myself, what is Among Us? Not just what is the game and how does it work, what makes it Among Us? What makes it stand out from other games out there? And that's exactly what I did. And after thinking about it, now I realized it's just Clue, but in space. And how does Clue always start with a murder? What is Among Us? Well, I think our director put it quite nicely when you were talking with him before. It's definitely just Clue, but in space. Although there is one major difference you have to consider. In Among Us, you don't necessarily have to find the killer to win. You can also go around the ship and complete tasks as a group before the killer takes everyone else out. In Clue, your only option is to find the killer. Aside from that, they're both practically the same thing. Red, in Among Us the movie, acts as the captain of the ship Think of him as a sort of Captain America-like figure, in that you often see throughout the video how he puts the safety of the rest of his crew first before his own safety, and to me, I think that makes him such a great character. Like, in my honest opinion, Red and Blue are the two most well-written characters in the Monos the movie. Oh, I had a lot of fun shooting this last year. Yeah, Swaziville was so great to work with behind the scenes, and so were Swaziville, Swaziville, and everyone else in the cast. Like, we all just had a great time. Like, we were basically getting paid to hang out together, like, have fun, just kind of vibe. And yeah, it, it was just a great time. I'd love to come back for a sequel. Swaziville, 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 and Swaziville were all so great to work with. It was such a pleasure, and I'd really like to do it again, whether it be something for Swaz Nation Studios, or maybe a project with Disney or Warner Brothers in the future, I think that'd be really exciting to do. Oh yeah, Swaziville brought up a great point when you were talking with him. I would definitely want to come back for a rebooted or remastered version of that video that incorporates roles that were more recently added to a monitor of the game, like Shapeshifter, Engineer, I think that'd be really cool. And even if they decide to cast someone else as green, you already know I'm crashing the premiere, for sure. Looking back, I think what made Among Us the movie take so long to finish shooting was that a lot of our cast and crew, including myself, are college-age students. And on top of that, with COVID, it made it hard to find set times and days we could all come together to ban out certain scenes. But at the end of the day, we worked with what we had, and as I like to tell people all the time, life isn't about what you're given to work with, it's about how you use what you're given to work with, and that's exactly what videos like Among Us the movie, as well as more recent ones on my channel, sort of demonstrate. What was my favorite scene to shoot? That's a great question. So I would have to say possibly like that scene where the asteroid hits the ship, it's about to explode, and everyone has to kind of put aside like their untrustworthiness of each other in that moment and kind of work together because their lives quite literally depend on it. For me, that was probably the most fun scene to film even though it was like my last scene as green. My favorite scene to film? Definitely that big chase scene at the end with gray, blue, and black. That's where all the remaining pieces throughout the video just kind of fall into place and it's so satisfying yet so unfortunate to watch unfold. What was my favorite scene to shoot? Um, I would definitely have to say that scene in the bathroom where Red goes to comfort Blue and then Blue just kind of kills him off on the spot. You know, I wrote that to be the climax, the most dramatic point in the entire video and for me I think that's what made it one of the more interesting scenes to film. Definitely the asteroid scene for sure. My favorite scene to film, I would definitely have to pick when Grey gets voted off by myself and my Blue, and it is just so unsatisfying to watch, because you're just in the audience and you're thinking, No! You're so close! You're so close! And at the same time, everything from past points in the video kind of falls into place. The set of the resolution is really quite interesting, how Swaziville wrote it. My favorite scene to shoot was definitely at the very end of the video, when Blue has a reactor core, he's trying to get off the ship, and it's just a really funny scene, especially considering all the traumatic things that happened at earlier points in the video. It just doesn't fit well, but at the same time it does. There's even a direct reference to Star Wars A New Hope in that scene. It's very easy to spot, and I have to respect it. It just goes to show that Swaziville, like myself, is a man of culture. It's crazy, looking back at a Monosa movie one year later, how far the video has come. 
Like when I initially finished editing it, I thought it was going to get 30, maybe 40 views tops, and then it broke 100, and if I remember correctly, 200 views in the first 24 hours, the first day and a half, which was a lot considering how small my channel was at this time last year. I'd like to thank Swaziville, 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 and the rest of my cast and crew for being a part of it. I'm so glad they chose to. You know, they ultimately helped make Among Us the movie so great. Like, I only could do so much as a writer and director. They really brought the story, they brought the characters to life more than I could have on my own. Thank you so much to all of the people on this list for contributing to my journey as a content creator. If you don't see your name on here, don't sweat it, because in 2022, you'll have plenty of opportunities to be shouted out by yours truly. Speaking of, for every video I upload in 2022, I'm going to shout out a random subscriber, either at the end of the video or somewhere throughout the video as a hidden easter egg. If you'd like that to be you, you know what button to press. Alright, that's it for me. Happy New Year, Swaz Nation.